Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you already put some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. Next up, this was sort of interesting I wanted to cover. Ken Griffin compares Chicago to Afghanistan. We heard him say this a few days ago on an interview. Friendly reminder that he purchased a nearly 60 million Gold Coast Penthouse in 2008, a sale that absolutely shattered the record for the most expensive Chicago sale ever. Ken has been hinting at a Citadel leaving Chicago for years. The crime comments seems to be an excuse to do so, as the vast majority takes place well outside downtown where he resides and where Citadel is located. So sure enough, Ken Griffin did make that remark, which a lot of people were pretty upset about, saying that, yeah, Chicago is obviously high in crime, but to compare it to Afghanistan might not be the right comparison, obviously. And on top of that, it does seem like Ken Griffin wants a reason out of Chicago, wants a reason to flee. So is he just using this as an excuse? We do have some awesome, awesome news coming from Adam Aaron, CEO of AMC, of course. He tweeted out just a bit ago, huge news for Dogecoin fans. As we work to accept online crypto payments, now you can buy AMC Theater digital gift cards up to $200 per day with Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies using a BitPay wallet. Accept it on our website, mobile app, and in theaters. So sure enough, Adam, Aaron, AMC were perfectly on point to their word, saying that they were going to do whatever it takes to actually accept Dogecoin to, in order to do business with AMC. And it only took him, what, maybe a month or so until now it's actually up and running. So this is huge for the community. The community is a big fan of Dogecoin, big fan of cryptocurrency overall. This is obviously super innovative for AMC also. There's not all that many brick and mortar companies out there right now that are actually really entwined with cryptocurrency, like the way that a lot of retail investors and or just patrons would like them to be. So this is huge for crypto, huge for AMC, a win-win overall. Next up, you know things are about to hit the fan when Gensler is blamed to be on retail investors' side. AMC and GME will save the US economy and the only people who can take credit for it is the retail apes, period, AMC, GME. So there's an article from the Wall Street Journal, SEC, Gensler aims to save investors money by squeezing Wall Street. So now the mainstream media is trying to create a narrative on where Gensler is actually on the side of the retail investors and wants to squeeze out Wall Street, which in fact, Gensler's job is to regulate and to make sure the rules are fair. But taking a step back from that, it is crazy how the AMC, GME, the whole meme stock thing ha has taken the role in society that it has so far. It's crazy that we needed this type of a community to finally make some major changes in the world. But we're here to do so and we are not going to give up until it's done. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.